in three, two, one. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Scuba Steve, and I'd like to welcome you all to another StarCraft cast. And this one is a very, it's a new one. It's a very old cast, but it's a very good game. Um, if you'd let me just introduce the players. We have our Red Terran on the left hand side, Dr. Funk. And down in the bottom position we have the Blue Zerg, Fog of War. Now, you're sort of thinking, what's new with this cast? It looks pretty old. The game itself looks old. What's new about it? Um, the webcam is the new thing about it. This is the kind of... I'm working with different formats here. I'm testing the waters to see what's... what would be good and what would be bad. And I'm thinking, perhaps webcam for casts. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, looks to me as we've got up in the top a barracks going down for Dr. Funk. Now, I can only speculate as to what he can do with all of this. I can only speculate. Meanwhile, Fog of War grabbing his expansion. Um, this isn't... He's grabbing an expansion, then his spawning pool. This is... When was the spawning pool put down? It was like a 13 pool. That's like a, thir a 13, 14 pool. Um, I've not seen this kind of build recently. Of course, with it being an old cast, why would I want to see, why would I see an old build? Dr. Funk going for his orbital. And he's moved his bunker down into this little area. Okay. Um, why? That's... That's a bit new. And he's going for a factory now. Why would he just run away and put... What's he doing with his barracks? Oh, now it's him putting his barracks to the side so that way he can get the reactor up and running. Grabbing his gas as well. Meanwhile, Fog of War has got his expansion up and running. He's now set, he's now starting to uh, mine from it. And up here, we have the first batch of lings coming across. Get that supply depot. There we go. They wanted that supply depot up. They wanted it up. Good. Good timing on that. First marine coming out to try and help fend off. Reactors up and running, swapping factory, swapping barracks out for factory and going for double Hellion. This is going to be interesting because he's now going for a starport. Um, slowly getting marines, double pumping Hellions, grabbing starport. Why? More metabolic boost on its way for Fog of War. It's about halfway there. Meanwhile, we have Spine Crawlers going down. Spine Crawler and an Evil Chamber going down as well outside of the expansion. I would say. Take the Queen. Oh! And it looks to me like. 
that's fog of war supply blocked take it a marine just got rid of a overlord meanwhile he's got four hellions out in the field what is this what's he going for a fusion core um oh my god are we are we going to be seeing thors are we going to be seeing thors fusion cores are the terran building that lets the player grab two extremely powerful well is it two or three i believe it's two extremely powerful units one known as the thor which is just like a big hulking tank big walking tank with rocket launchers for arms and the second is what we're actually getting we're getting a battle cruiser the battle cruiser is the starcraft equivalent of a star destroyer from star wars and i get giddy every time i see a bc coming and i think i missed an attack because those aliens look hard they look damaged and yeah i probably missed a failed attack i, I probably missed a failed attack yeah i did Yeah. Yeah. That was an attack. But first BC is about to come out. That's oversaturation. You do not want that. There it is. There it is. Look at that almighty machine. And who's it? And it's getting rid of that overlord. Look at that. Look at it go. And he's going. He's getting a second one in production. This is amazing. This is amazing. Meanwhile, Fog of War, he's. got roaches now, and he's. covering every place on the map he's covering every place on the map oh my words this, this BC is getting hard it's trying to go in for an attack oh wow the queens fighting it off meanwhile it comes back in to get repaired just as the second BC makes an appearance. Pinged upwards. Ooh! That's a failure I've ever saw one. That's a fail. Oh, that's a failed attack I've ever saw one. And now, Dr. Funk is going on the counter offensive. Chasing those roaches with those aliens. Not upgraded. But he's researching. He's now going in the banshees and he's researching um, clamps. He's researching the clamps for tanks. He's researching siege tech so that way these tanks can actually siege up, clamp it to the ground, and extend their range and their damage. That is a nice concave for Dr. Funk, but that. The BC is the main, uh, is the main thing there. The BCs are the main um, units taking out those roaches like they were fodder, just smoking everything in its path. And there's SCVs down there repairing the battle cruiser and any of the tech. Um, any tech units for the Terran if they get damaged, let's see. Repairing, repairing the siege tank. 
And now here he's got free reign. He's got a wow. He's got a hydros. Well, no, he was. He did have a hydros. He's getting a couple more. But I'm afraid this is just too much for fog of war. <laughs> Rawful. That's terrible. Yeah, that's terrible for you. Um, this has been another cast by me, your host, Scoop Steve. Um, tried, he tried to expand twice up here, two ninja expansions. Um, you know, back home he took the majority of his uh, majority of his SUVs across to here, just so that they could repair the BC and the tanks. That's that's a good game actually. Maybe an old old replay, but it's a really good game. It's, it's always a good game when battle cruisers are having free reign. Anyway, um, <coughs> Jesus Christ, what just what just came over my throat there? Anyway, um. My social links, my Facebook, my Twitter, my Patreon, my PayPal, Reverb Nation, are all going to be in the description below. Hope you have enjoyed this cast, and I will see you all next time. Peace.